This video is for lesson 27-2, completing the square to find the center and radius of a circle. Learning goals are to find the center of a circle and the radius of the circle when we know its equation. And when the equation is not in the correct format to begin with, to use the algebra process called completing the square to write the equation of the circle in the form that we want. In the last lesson, we looked at this equation right here as the equation of a circle, where the number in this position was the x-coordinate of the center, the number in this position was the y-coordinate of the center, and the number in this position was the radius of the circle. And with those three numbers, we could graph a circle. But what do you do if the equation of a circle is not in this form to begin with? Is there a way to change it into this format so we can find those three numbers that we're interested in. And there is, it's called completing the square. Take a look at question one. Let's say that we have a circle and the equation of the circle is x squared plus 6x plus y minus 2 squared equals 16. This is not quite the format that we want. For the letter y, we do have the format we want. The number following the subtraction sign is the value of k. So that's good. But for the letter x, we don't have the format we want. We don't have the letter x in parentheses and a number being subtracted from the letter x. That's the part of the equation that we need to use completing the square on. So in this space here, let's rewrite the equation so that we can work with it. x squared plus 6x. Now leave some space, then write plus, and now the part of the problem with the letter y, and equals 16. Again, the letter y is all set. We have the parentheses, we have the minus, everything's good with y. It's the letter x that we want to convert so that it has the format with the parentheses. Here's how completing the square works. You learned this in your algebra class. Take half of the coefficient of the x term. So we're going to figure out what half of 6 is. That's 3. Then square this number. So whatever you get here, square it. And that makes 9. What that 9 is, is the number that we want to fill in our blank spot that we had left there earlier. So right in that blank, let's say plus. 9. Next, if you add 9 to the left side of this equation, then you have to compensate by adding 9 to the right side of the equation. So in green, notice that I went plus 9 on the left and plus 9 on the right. Now we can rewrite our equation. Focusing on the letter x, I see a trinomial. And this is a special kind of trinomial called a perfect square trinomial. That can be factored. The pattern to factor it is to use parentheses with squaring in the corner. And in the parentheses, it's x plus 3. Remember where that 3 came from. It was half of that number. And at the same time, it was the square root of that number. Now let's copy the rest of this down. Plus parenthesis y minus 2 squared equals, and on the right side, now it's 25. It used to be 16, but we chose to add 9. Now it's 25. In green ink, we have the format that we want for a circle. We can find the center of the circle. Let's call that C by looking at the numbers after the subtraction signs. What's the x-coordinate of the center? Look right there. But it's not 3. It's actually negative 3. Because this plus sign is like having x minus negative 3. Then, look right there to get the value of k. That's a 2. So the center of our circle is at negative 3 comma 2. Now let's find the radius of our circle. Look right here. But the radius isn't 25. The radius is 5. It's the square root of the 25. 
So what we did was we took our original equation that was in question one, and it wasn't quite in the format we needed. We used an algebra process called completing the square to rewrite it into the format we wanted. Let's jump ahead to the check your understanding question five and work on problem A. Use completing the square to rewrite this equation into the format that we like to use for circles. I notice that the part with the letter X does not have the parentheses. I notice that the part with the letter Y doesn't have parentheses either. But in the case of the letter Y, it looks like we could rewrite it just by using a zero as the letter K. Let's rewrite this question and leave a space after the X term. Then write plus Y squared and then the equals three. We're gonna figure out what number to fill into that space. Here's how you find it. Take half of the coefficient of the X term. Half of negative two is negative one. Then square that. So if I square negative one, I get positive one. That's the number to add into that blank spot. And to compensate for adding one on the left side, add one on the right side of the equation as well. Next step, let's factor this trinomial using parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have the x. But do you remember what goes here? What was that number we had figured out when we took half of this coefficient? It was negative 1. For the letter y, we can leave it as y squared, or we can go y minus 0 squared which better fits the format we're looking for. On the right side of the equation, now it's four. It used to be three, but we added one and got four. This is the format we want for a circle. We like that format because it's easy to figure out the center of the circle. It is one comma zero, and the radius is two. I'm gonna pause the video for you to work on question B. Let's try question B down here where there's some blank space. First thing to do is rewrite the equation and leave some space to fill in a number later. Now we have plus, and then over here, y plus two squared. If you like, you can rewrite this y plus two as y minus negative two, and that makes it easier to figure out the letter k. Now let's fill in that blank space. Take half of this number, so half of three is three halves. Then square that, that's nine fourths. So in the blank space, we're adding nine fourths. And over here on the right. Then we're going to factor this trinomial. This is x plus, three halves squared plus y plus two squared equals, and then over here, one plus nine fourths is 13 fourths. We've rewritten the equation of our circle. In case we were asked to find the center of that circle, we would look for the values of h and k. h is negative three halves, and k is negative two. For the radius of the circle, we use the square root of this number here. So that's the square root of the 13 fourths. Skip down to the try these questions and do one more example problem. Let's work on question C. What I'm gonna do on question C is rewrite the equation with some blank spots that I can fill in. So x squared minus 8x, then leave a blank, then go plus y squared minus 14y, leave another blank, and then write the equal 16. The reason I've left these blank spots is I want to figure out numbers to fill into those spots. To figure out the number right here, do you remember what you have to do with this coefficient? Take half of it which is negative four. 
Then what do you do with this number? You square it. Negative 4 squared is 16. So in this spot, we write plus 16. Now there's somewhere else that you also write plus 16. Over here on the right side of the equation. For the letter Y, what goes in this blank spot? Take half of this coefficient, which is negative 7. Then square it. That makes 49. So in this spot, we go plus 49. Where else do you write plus 49? Over here on the right side. That process is called completing the square. What it does is it creates a trinomial called a perfect square trinomial that can be factored as x minus 4 squared. For the letter y, we've created a perfect square trinomial that can be factored as y minus 7 squared. And this is equal to 81. This equation is a lot better for a circle than our original equation right here. In this original equation, we can't tell what the center is or what the radius is simply by looking at the equation. In this new form, we can tell the center of the circle. The center is located at 4, 7, and the radius of the circle is 9. So in this lesson, we used an algebra process called completing the square to change an equation from something that's not in the correct format to something that is in the correct format for a circle.